Hello today's video we have the following content. The costume drama Liu Guanyin was launched and won the love of the audience. There are four reasons for this. With the grand launch of the latest costume drama Liu Guanyin starring Zhang Han, it not only brought a double feast of vision and emotion to the audience, but also injected a breath of fresh air into the ancient puppet drama market. With its unique time travel setting, intricate power struggles and compact and unprocrastinated plot rhythm, the drama quickly became the focus of many drama fans, as if saying, ancient puppet drama should be shot like this. The story of Liu Guangyun spans time and space, bringing the audience into an ancient world that is both familiar and full of novelty. Here, time and space are no longer simple linear flows, but have become a key element to promote the development of the plot. The protagonists shuttled through different time nodes, and each jump was accompanied by new challenges and opportunities. This setting not only increased the layering of the series, but also allowed the audience to experience an unprecedented pleasure of watching the drama while following the development of the plot. When it comes to the performance of the actors, Zhang Han's restarring in a costume drama is undoubtedly a highlight of the show. As a powerful actor, Zhang Han successfully created a character image that is both profound and charming with his superb acting skills and deep understanding of the role. Every time he appears, he seems to have his own aura, showing the character's personality traits vividly, which makes people can't help but fall in love with him. In addition, the other actors in the play are also powerful online. They jointly construct vivid and vivid characters, making the character group of the whole play rich and three-dimensional. What is even more rare is that Liu Guangyun controls the rhythm of the plot just right. It does not fall into the rut of lengthy and procrastinating like some ancient puppet dramas, but always maintains a tense and orderly sense of rhythm. Each episode has new contradictions, conflicts and suspense settings, so that the audience can enjoy the plot while always maintaining a high expectation for subsequent development. The clear main plot and distinct character personality make the whole play always maintain a clear context and distinct theme in the complex plot. It can be said that the emergence of Liu Guanyin not only brings new vitality and hope to the ancient puppet drama market, but also brings a masterpiece worth savoring to the audience. With its unique creativity, exquisite production and outstanding performances of the actors, it has saved the glory of ancient puppet drama and let us see more possibilities and development space for ancient puppet drama in the future. In the days to come, let us look forward to Liu Guangyun continuing to lead the trend of ancient puppet drama and bring more surprises and touches to the audience. Next news. After watching two episodes of Liu Guangyun, I can't hide my excitement. Finally, there is a decent costume drama. Bian Shui Past has ended, and there are fewer episodes to watch. Although there are many costume dramas on the air, there are not many high-quality ones. The comedy style Si Fang Guan is full of awkward and stiff humor coupled with the exaggerated performances of the actors, which makes the audience very uncomfortable when watching. Chang Leek was set as a plot of marriage first and love later, plus the elements of detective work and power struggle, which originally contained a lot of highlights. However, the plot is full of loopholes, and the detective work and power struggle seem to exist only to promote the emotional development of the male and female protagonists. These costume dramas are really uninteresting, but the launch of the new drama Liu Guangyun successfully alleviated my anxiety about watching the drama. Although I have only watched two episodes, I have already experienced the extraordinariness of this work. After watching the second episode, I couldn't suppress my excitement. Finally, an excellent costume drama has arrived. Time travel plus revenge plus power struggle, the refreshing drama mode is funny and exciting. The most attractive part of the time travel setting is that the protagonist always remains strong, understands the past experience, and starts again to avenge himself. The core is to pursue a refreshing feeling. This Liu Guangyun makes full use of the advantages of the time travel setting. At the beginning, the hero invents for the original host, which is really refreshing. Revenge at the first time. When Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, woke up, she realized that she was lying on the street in dishevel, being watched by a group of people. She was originally the authentic daughter of the Han family. In order to choose a concubine, she deliberately planned the trap to let her be defiled in the restaurant, thereby destroying her reputation and making it impossible for her to compete with herself. The protagonist before the time travel was an extraordinary mercenary with high martial arts and a very irritable personality. After realizing that she had traveled to Han Ziking, she decided that since she was here, she couldn't let anyone bully her even in a dream, so she started a big fight in the Han family. 
She first kicked the lady who bullied her down on the street, then tore off her clothes, and then carried her to confront her father at the gate of Han's mansion, and slapped the daughter of the Han family in public. After Han Zikin exhaled her first breath, she felt extremely refreshed, and the bystanders also felt relieved. It was really a relief. The second round, competing for the beauty of the harem. However, this is not all. Han Zikin, who came through, has not found a way to return, and can only take one step at a time. And the dagger that brought her here at that time was particularly important. Despite looking for the dagger, she still did not delay sorting out the affairs of the daughter of the Han family. The other party most wanted to stop her from participating in the selection of concubines, but she had to go. What does it matter if her reputation is damaged? It doesn't matter, it's always okay to watch the fun. She didn't dress up deliberately, nor did she stick to make up. She only attracted the attention of the fourth prince, played by Zhang Han, with her natural beauty and extraordinary personality. The emperor had already given the daughter of the Han family to him, and this defeat was even more embarrassing. Although it feels great, the logic of the plot has not deviated. In fact, Han Zikin came to join the fun and did not need to really marry the fourth prince. Just when she was about to refuse, she noticed that the fourth prince had the dagger that made her travel through time hanging on his waist. It is unrealistic to get this dagger in public, and now she can only adopt a delaying strategy. Not only does it show the wisdom of the heroine, but also because of the forced competition during the selection of concubines, the face of the Han family's legitimate daughter is lost. This not only establishes the image of the character, but also brings a refreshing feeling, which shows the level of the screenwriter. The third breath, will be the same. However, Han Ziking was not the princess selected by the emperor for the fourth prince after all. With the emperor's house arrest of the fourth prince, she became the focus of everyone's attention when she first entered the palace. In order to relieve the emperor's troubles, the princess specially held a banquet to invite Han Ziking to come, and secretly shot her knees with two needles, hoping to force her to kneel down. At the same time, Hua Jin was added to the tea, planning to let her die of poison after seven days. As a mercenary in the modern world, Han Ziking has extensive experience and naturally understands the intentions of the imperial concubine, so she cleverly follows her strategy. When the imperial concubine sent someone to inquire about her condition, Han Ziking showed a wonderful performance, pretending that she was seriously ill and had tuberculosis. Not only did she make the other party believe it, she even held a mouthful of blood and sprayed it directly on the other party's face. Since you don't let me live comfortably, don't expect others to feel good, if you want to be lively, you have to cause some trouble for yourself first. I have to admit that such a heroine full of personality is really impressive. She did not rely on brute force to fight, but showed wisdom and ingenuity. The characteristic of Black Lotus that she must avenge her grudges once again made people appreciate her charm. In these two episodes, the plot developed extremely quickly, allowing the audience to clearly understand the theme of the play. The heroine came from across time to avenge the original host, while the hero focused on the struggle for power. Multiple elements are intertwined and wonderful. Zhang Han plus Zhu Zudin, a stunning combination beyond expectations. To be honest, before I watched this drama, I couldn't help but feel a little uneasy when I learned that the male lead's name was Zhang Han. After all, the costume drama Zhang Han had participated in before were either very embarrassing or made up with weird and heavy makeup, which made the audience completely lose interest in watching. In the past two years, Zhang Han's personal image has declined significantly, and I really can't believe that he can still perform any excellent works. But in just two episodes, Zhang Han changed my traditional view of him. This time, the fourth prince he played is a powerful, wise, and somewhat insidious character. Zhang Han showed the noble temperament of the prince, and also reflected the characters free and easy and neat. Especially in the scene of selecting concubines, he made his own choice without being bound by the eyes of others, and chose Han Ziking, who was considered unqualified. His eyes revealed both playfulness and firm domineering determination for his decision. This kind of strong and not too greasy role is more in line with Zhang Han's temperament. Zhu Zudan's performance is amazing. She has participated in many costume dramas before, but she has never left a deep impression on the audience. In this drama, she always maintains a face of displeasure and stubbornness, and her eyes reveal a cold attitude, making it difficult for anyone to approach. This performance is mastered by Zhu Zudan just right. It is precisely because of the distinct character that Zhu Zudan's performance appears very stable. 
Although the makeup and styling are relatively simple and not the most luxurious in the play, the temperament of the heroine is still vividly displayed. At present, the CP feeling between the two actors has not been felt, but in a fighting scene, they showed a sense of equal strength. As the plot develops, I believe that these two actors with excellent acting skills will collide with unusual sparks. The market for costume dramas is indeed saturated, and there are many cool dramas with revenge themes like Liu Guangyin, such as Mo Yu Yun Jian, which was a small fire for a while. Liu Guangyin is obviously different from previous works. It only sets a super high force value for the heroine, making it more pleasurable in similar dramas. The heroines in other works often need to rely on the hero to save them, but the heroine in Liu Guangyin can not only save herself, but can even protect the hero. This setting is very novel. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,